Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next video. This is another Clan War recap, and uh, we're taking a look at the one versus LRTH. And uh, it uh, wasn't quite as close as the score might suggest. It was a uh, seven star difference, but only a 25v25 war. And they did not three star very many of our nines, mainly the bottom ones. And then they got our eights as well. Um, and then. On the other side, we got their two Town Hall 11s, three, or two star. Um, had one one star. I mean, we were going for three stars pretty quickly into the war once we realized it wasn't going to be that close. Um, so, uh, and then everything else was three star, and all the other Town Hall 10s were two star. So, I'm uh, going to show three attacks today. I um, don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this war, but I want to show some stuff and also have that arranged war. Uh, that I should be covering coming up this weekend. So uh, we will have more attacks from that later on. But anyway, I was going to look at a two-star on their number two guy. Um, Chaos taking on their two. Just going for a two-star because it's a very high percentage uh, one, so want to show that. Uh, starts off with the Quake spells. It's going to open everything up into the core. Uh, all three of those compartments right there connect on in. So it can spread out his golems nice and wide here. Uh, coming in with four golems. Backing it up with some wizards, um, you can see the eagle. It's not as overpowered as some people were making it out to be. Um, maybe I'll make a video on this to, to talk about my opinion on the eagle more. I'm not 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 sure, but it's not doing what people were saying it was going to do. Like it's going to be so overpowered. Um, its attacks are pretty few and far between. Doesn't attack that quickly, and I haven't seen it do a whole lot of damage. It just. Uh, Maybe I'm just not noticing it. Maybe I haven't seen the level 2 eagle in action. Because this, this is only level 1, I think. But haven't seen a whole lot out of the eagle. Anyway, though, um, Chaos just coming in here. Uh, wall breakers in two different places. Everything's making its way on in. His heroes do go to the outside a little bit. But it actually works in his advantage here because he gets percentage out of them. And uh, his P.E.K.K.A. gets in there, Wizard. Uh, they take out the Town Hall real quickly. Even has a Witch in there as well. So it didn't need a whole lot. That town, the, uh, the Town Hall compartment only had like the Inferno Towers. Didn't have any other defenses in it uh, besides the Eagle. So um, it actually works out that his King, the Wizards, uh, which is that little uh, convoy is making their way along the outside and picking up some percentage points. So pops the Queen's ability inside the core. She's going to get a few more defenses before she goes down. And then also has an archer and a minion, uh, which will just drop to get a few more percentage. Uh, King making his way through, being a nice tank for those wizards and that one witch. Uh, we'll fast forward because at this point, it's just um, them slowly dying out. Drops that archer down, uh, so it gets up to 77%. Uh, nice attack to chaos. All right, we're going to look at one town hall nine as well. Um, Take a look at astronaut. And this is the best Town Hall 9 base they had, so I apologize even this base isn't very great. Uh, pretty low-level heroes in a, you know, anti-two-star layout, but it is what it is. Um, just does the healer trick on the Lava Hound. I, I haven't seen that as much lately, but I think it's uh, it's still an option, uh, especially if you know it's there, and just to make it so you can do a queen walk a little easier if you don't want to deal with the uh, queen having to beat on the Lava Hound, um, or if you just want to get it out of the picture for the entire attack because if you do it right those two archers are going to take pretty much all three minutes and 30 seconds to beat through the lava hound i'm not sure the exact time but it takes a while uh, but anyway he starts the queen down uh funnels her up top there has to pop the ability because she does get low um but not a big deal no cc troops to deal with so uh using the ability doesn't cost him that much uh coming at the bottom here with two golems uh backing up with wizards has a jump spell, let everything on in in just a moment. It's actually going to wall breaker in first and then use the jump spell. Um, so it's letting that funnel get developed uh, for his king, make sure he doesn't walk. And then right here, comes in with some wall breakers. Um, I, yeah, I think it was intentional to do the each of those compartments open because he goes into the bottom one first. And maybe it wasn't intentional, but either way, he actually breaks into two different compartments. And then the king goes into the top one. Uh, uses the ability, he takes out both heroes, uh, plus a few defenses, goes ahead and drops that rage, uh, that's going to give the him a little boost before he goes down. You can see a Tesla farm is in that uh, uh, town hall compartment, which was pretty expected. Coming in with the hogs at the bottom here, has two two heal sprouts for them, but still nice and patient. 
um, goes ahead and drops the first one right here. Uh, so it's going to heal them all up in the face of those quad Teslas. The giant's actually making its way around to do some more tanking. Um, and then has that one archer tower kind of off to the side there that uh, the hogs are going to have to travel over and get. But has the final heal, which uh, goes ahead and keeps the hogs up from those Teslas, the skelly traps. Uh, they're not going to be able to take out any of those hogs. So still has a big group and even drops a few on the backside uh, to take out that archer tower. So very clean attack by Astronaut. Uh, it's kind of smoothly dissected this base. So nice job. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a bit of a shorter recap. Only have one more Town Hall 8 we're looking at, and that's uh, number 23, uh, Vanilla Thunder. This is the only uh, real Town Hall 8 base of any, of any like, seriousness. The others were kind of low-level, didn't have any spots for giant bombs. Uh, so not the best uh, Town Hall 8 bases to work with. But, I mean, these type of bases you see here, the kind of ones that uh, I'm guessing most of you guys see in War. I know it's what we see most of the time in Genesis, so um, I assume that goes for the rest of the war community, just because um, a lot of people haven't quite got to the anti-three-star uh, type strategy yet for base buildings. Um, and these can be tricky, they can trip you up, so it's important to uh, know how to take these out if you run into them. Anyway though, uh, Thunder's just dropping down the double poison, takes out that dragon, comes in with the king here just to tank, and then dropping some hogs. Uh, it was a pretty smart thing on the lure there to take out those few defenses because that well, should have eliminated the giant bomb spots. The hogs do step on one of them, uh, but it really eliminated the big group from having to go over there and having it uh, blow them up so it doesn't have to waste a heal in that area. Goes ahead and just goes in with a surgical uh, clockwise deployment. I always have to pause. Uh, clockwise deployment on this, um, letting the hogs work their way through. The king is doing a little bit of damage to them, but uh, there's not many defenses in the area, so the, he's really the only threat uh, from that big group of hogs there. Has another heal, which is going to keep them up. And then coming in, has plenty of hogs to take out this base. And you can see the king is still doing tanking on the uh, top right there for the archer tower. Hits a few spring traps, but has that last heal. And all those hogs are going to be up for the final uh, few defenses. And then it'll go ahead and clean things up. So a uh, nice attack to Vanilla Thunder getting the three star on the top Town Hall 8. Alright, that's it for this war recap. Um, no, it's not the most exciting attacks, and same with the last war recap. But going to have some interesting stuff coming from the arranged war, assuming uh, the search goes well and everything pans out how it should. So stay tuned for that this weekend. Uh, search time's on Friday, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it, though. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bisectatron out.